Hi, I'm Bethany Russell, director of the Mission Gate Academy. In this episode of our You Asked series, we'll be answering your questions about putting on an AFO for someone whose foot turns inwards. The first consideration is that most causes of hypertonicity or turning the foot inwards will also present with more resistance to passive movement the faster you move the foot and ankle. So move their foot and ankle in a slow and gentle manner. The second suggestion is that you can temporarily break the tone up using massage. You can gently massage the muscles in the bottom of the foot or the muscles in between the bones in the tops of the foot. You can also break up the tone some with stretching. So oftentimes when the foot is turned inwards, the toes are also curled a lot. So if you just gently stretch those into extension briefly before you put the AFO on, it'll usually go better. When you are putting the brace on, typically you'll want to put the heel in first and then slide the heel back. And then when you're putting the shoe on, make sure you have the upper opened up pretty much as wide as it can go. It's a lot easier if you have a shoe that uses laces or a zipper closure. By the way, if you'd like more information about pairing shoes with AFOs, we have a whole video on exactly this topic on our YouTube channel. So when you're putting the shoe on, instead of being very forceful, if you can use more of a shimmying technique, again, slow and gentle is just gonna go a lot better. So we'll just work it back and forth. And then also, as much as you can prevent the heel counter from folding under, the better. So I hope this has answered your questions about putting on an AFO for someone whose foot curls inwards. If you found this rapid fire information useful and you want to know more, please visit our video library at YouTube slash Mission Gate or visit our website at missiongate.org. Thank you.